How do rules make us more productive? According to Melanie Wilson, rules create habits, which in turn save us on decision-making time, as well as prevent negative consequences. But aren't rules made to be broken? Welcome to Plan, Prep, Pray. Hey girly, my name is Wendy and I am a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four little ones and on this channel I talk about all things homeschooling, homemaking, mommy self-care, and kids empowerment. So subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. This week's productivity method was rules. So I created a list of bad habits that have cost us money. And then I went ahead and for each bad habit, I created a rule to help correct that bad habit or at least prevent it a little. Okay, so one of the first things that is always an issue for me is Amazon. Am I the only one that has an issue with Amazon? Like having those Amazon boxes show up every single day. It's just so easy to click that buy now button. You know what I mean? Like you just, just click. <laughs> and with one simple buy now, you get everything you've ever wanted. So Amazon is a big, big, huge one for me. So so what we are planning to do, number one, is we are going to unlink those Amazon cards. So you know how you have all those, Amaz those places where you put your card and it's easily linked on there? We're going to unlink them and um, put a prepaid card there um, because you do need Amazon and it is very convenient, but a prepaid card adds a certain extra limitation onto it because the amazon addiction is real okay so we are going to put a prepaid card on the amazon account and we are going to wait 15 days before we make a purchase so well i guess i'm i'm going to wait 15 days before i make a purchase so before so a lot of the impulse buys and a lot of things that, you know, I want are just like, you know, pretty or um, uh, not necessarily I need them right now, you know? And if there's anything that is needed right now, I will discuss it with my husband first and it has to be approved by both of us because to be honest, I don't have to discuss things with him now so just um that extra accountability that working together um is super important so it has to be approved by both of us before we make a purchase um <clears throat> and we have to make sure that we have the funds before we can purchase it or the funds have to be like redirected so that's just like the basic rules um behind funds available so you guys know i love a good checklist so those are just the basic things that we have to run by um, before we go ahead and approve any amazon purchases now the next thing that i have issues with is cards guys cards and not credit cards or only credit cards but just credit cards debit cards all the cards um it's just so easy to like even the cards that are like on the phone it's just so easy to um, either swipe your phone or swipe the card and not even really think about where the money is going and so i'm switching over to cash only cash only and um, cards are only going to be, and by cards, I mean debit card is only going to be for emergency uses only. Um, so we will pre pretty much have a central location for our cards, and that's where they will live unless there is an emergency and we need access to um, our finances immediately the cards will stay there. So I'm not going grocery shopping with cards. If I didn't bring enough cash, 
because I'm going to have to go back home to get the cash, to get more, um, because no more cards in my life. The next bad habit is shopping without a list. And so I must have a list when grocery shopping. Now, if I do not have the money and then, I'm sorry, if I do not have my grocery list, then I either have to call somebody from home and have them send me a picture of the list or I need to drive my booty all the way back home and get that list and come home and, and come back to the store because grocery shopping without a list is doesn't work. You know, you always end up spending more than you need to spend. And so I will only be grocery shopping with a list. Number four, shopping on a whim. No more, how did I end up here at the grocery store shopping? Oh, oh, oh I forgot um, some milk and it's the middle of the week. Let me just go run and grab some. No, I gotta get creative. I gotta figure it out. I am going to have one day a week where I go shopping. And number five, buying it even if I didn't plan on buying it. <laughs> You know, when you show up to the store and you didn't plan on buying it, but it's on sale and you always, you always, you know, get it. You don't even know why you didn't even put it on your list. You know, it happens. <laughs> so, no, I will not be buying it if I didn't plan on buying it. So I realized those are the things that really um, are bad habits that have caused um, me to have issues when it comes to spending unexpectedly. So hopefully by sticking with these rules, I don't have to worry about that. Let's see what happens. Some of the pros associated with creating rules around these bad habits is that Number one, I was able to keep my budgeting cold for the week. And it's only been a week, but I was able to do it. <laughs> Number two, not only was I able to do it, but I was able to far exceed my goal and actually save way less money than I thought was possible. So that's, that's a plus. And I also saved a lot of time. The different roles involving the shopping list and things like that, I was able to get in and out of stores super quickly. So. Hey, and as usual, there were some cons. Number one, it really shined a light on just how bad of a spending, like trigger finger <laughs> that I have. Um, I constantly was like, wow, I didn't even realize how many times just Amazon buy right now button is clicked without even thinking about it. And the second con, I guess for some people would be that you know, with the pandemic and with COVID and everything like that, cash is kind of, you know, I don't know if you want to be passing cash back and forth. I was so used to just taking out my phone and sliding it over the, um, the, the scanner and just being able to scan my card straight from there that like now having to use cash, I've had to um, make sure I have exact change. <laughs> so has it made me more productive? Yes, when I can walk into a store, just grab what I need and walk out and um, not have to constantly stress over what was on my list again or should I buy this? Like, no, one of my rules were I don't buy it if it's not on my list. So I don't even have to worry about that. So yes, it made me more productive. It saved me time and it saved me money. I 100% recommend making rules around bad habits and around um, things that you are trying to change. Now, it not this week, it not only made me a good steward of time, but also a good steward of our money. And so being intentional and being a good steward is always a positive. So I 100% recommend making rules and um, Five stars, y'all. Five stars. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the description where you'll find the book, A Year of Living Productively, which is where I'm getting all these experiments from, as well as the newsletter for the email list that goes out once a week. You not only get previews of upcoming videos, but also additional resources from these videos that I'm doing. And we stuck to our budget and it was less than $100. It was at $75, which was perfect. <laughs> Until next time, bye. This week, I focused on the productivity Mm-hmm.